Hello there, this is Craig Hain. My students call me Dr. Dell, and you can learn all about me on my website, craighain.com. And of course, I'm the guy that has created this How to Win with Math program that starts with the Practical Math Foundation. And uh, this is what we do now in the beginning. We teach our students how to use a power tool, the calculator. And the calculator we use is the TI-30XA, this wonderful, wonderful calculator that uh, it just makes learning math so much easier and the doing of math so much easier and it's what all students need to learn and you can teach your students this yourself in fact this is a syllabus from the practical math foundation course there are 16 lessons that we start the student out with each one of these lessons as you know consists of me explaining uh, how this particular function works uh, then a bunch of exercises with a video then a bunch of exercises and a quiz so you lead the student through this like climbing a ladder and you can either let us do it for you if you use our program, or you can do it. And I want to show you now just what your student's going to learn. Okay, the first thing we do, obviously, is we teach them how to turn the calculator on. It's off when you start. You turn it on with this on button. Turn it off, turn it on, and so forth. Now, I want to put a number in the register. This is, the course, where they're going to see things. So we just have them press this key over here, the pi key, and that gives us a nice big number in the register. And then the first thing we teach them how to do is to fix a number of decimal points. Now, you do that by hitting the second key hitting the decimal point down here, and then hit, say, three, if you want to see three decimal places. Or if you want to see four decimal places, you would hit, hit fix, period, four. And in fact, you can show any number of decimal places this way. You can show no decimal places. There's just three. Now, keep in mind, this number is in the calculator all the while. It's always in there, and you can show however many decimal places you want to. And we have them practice with this and do this so they get very comfortable with it. And if you want to show all the decimal places, you just hit fix and hit the decimal point twice. And then that shows everything. And this is always inside the calculator. That's the first thing we show them. Now the next thing we do is we make sure they understand the addition and the subtraction keys. So we have them put in numbers, and we have them add the numbers, and then we have them hit equal, and they see the sum of the numbers. And we do the same thing with subtraction. And we give them a lot of exercises with addition and subtraction. And, of course, that's very easy to do. And, of course, you can get a negative number if, in fact, you've subtracted something. And then we teach them negative numbers. For example, if you take 56 and you want to make it negative, you press this key right here, and that makes it negative. Press it again, it turns it positive again. So this is how you make a number go from positive to negative with this key right here. Then we teach them the multiplication and division keys. And, of course, uh, that we assume they already understand multiplication. After all, these are post-elementary students, but we have them do a lot of practicing with multiplying and dividing. So here's be one divided by seven, for example. And of course, this shows all the decimal places. We could go back and review and make sure they fix it, say, to three decimal places. They only want to see three. But keep in mind that number's still in the calculator, so we can go back and show five decimal places. Or we can go back and show all the decimal places by hitting the decimal point down here twice. Okay, now that's so that we're sort of reviewing as we go. Then after we do that, we will start showing him these major keys up here, the square, the square root, and the 1 over x key. We'll start with the 1 over x key. If I enter 7, and I'll hit the 1 over x, that's 1 over 7, and that's what we had earlier when we hit 1 divided by 7. Make sure they understand that. These are all individual lessons. Then we show them the square key, say 2.3 squared. And then we show them the square root key. If you take that and take the square root, you go back to 2.3. These are inverses of each other. 1 over x is its own inverse. If you take, for example, uh, 6 and take its inverse and then hit the inverse again, you get back to 6. So we're showing him that. So that's the first set of lessons we do is these keys here and what we call these convenience keys right here. Now keep in mind this is all very kinesthetic and that's why this is so successful. Students love to do this. It's like playing a game. So then we show them the memory keys. Take 25 and you store it in the first memory register. Then you turn off the calculator. You turn it back on. You go down and recall first register, there's 25 again. And you've actually got three memory registers for this particular calculator, so we show them how to use all three memory registers. And then you can recall the first one, you can call the second one, and you can combine it with these operations. And we give them a lot of practice doing that. And there's three memory registers, and when you have a number entered up here, it shows that you've got a, a number entered. If you want to clear it out of your memory register, let's say you wanted to clear the first register, then you have to take zero and store it in the first register, and then that clears the first register. That's how you clear the memory registers. Otherwise, it's always there. Even when you turn the calculator off, you turn it back on. For example, uh, a little game we like to have them play is put in a phone number. You want to store a phone number, uh, store it in register 3, and then turn off the calculator and forget about it. Now later you come back, turn it back on. What was that phone number? Recall register 3, there's the phone number. So we do little games like that. We, have, we want to make it fun. We want to let them have a lot of fun with it. 
And then after we've shown the memory registers and how that works, then we begin to show them some of the uh, other functions. One of the most important things is the fraction keys on this. So I'm going to turn this off and uh, you take two and hit this camera here. That'll be two, hit three. Now you got the fraction two thirds. If you want to add that to the fraction, say five, six, you do that, hit equal, and there's the fraction one and a half. You can make a proper fraction out of it by hitting uh, second this key. That makes it a proper fraction. If you do it again, that makes it an improper fraction, one and a half. If you want to convert it to a decimal, you'd hit second this arrow. That converts it to a decimal. Now, these things, by the way, are all in the instructions that come with this calculator, but people just, there's so many keys on there you don't use that they get confused. So we want them to go through and practice and practice. So it's the kinesthetic thing and so on. The fractions are really a big deal for them. Once they've done that, we show them how to use the uh, trig keys. Now, we don't teach them trigonometry at this point. We just show them how to use the keys. So you can take 25, for example, and hit the S-I-N key, and you're going to get a number up here. That's, later, they're going to learn in trig that that is the sine of 25 degrees. Now, we don't teach them what that means now, but we want them to get, be able to use the keys and also the inverse keys. If you hit second sign, that'll get you back to 25. So that's the inverse of that. And we, we, we get them to understanding how inverse keys work. And so that's pretty much what we do in the first 16 lessons, because these are the keys you're going to use in the Practical Math Foundation, which you should be teaching them uh, to begin with. Now then there are some bonus operations we want to teach people to use depending on their interest in life. And the, one of my favorite keys at all in this calculator is the y to the x key. And it's, it's, and it's, so when they understand exponents, we can take 5, for example, hit y to the x, and then if we hit 4, that'll be the exponent, and that'll take 5 times itself 4 times, and there's the answer. But you can take any kind of number. You can take 2.6, hit y to the x, raise it to the 5.4, it's going to be a pretty big number, hit equal, and there you're going to get a big number. I don't want to see all those decimal places. Remember, we fixed the decimal places. They fix it to two places. Y to the X key is extremely useful, and I use it all the time in many, many examples then that we do. And so that's something we do. Uh, it's really kind of a takeoff and a bonus on um, what we do in practical math. Uh, sometimes for people going into certain fields, they need to understand degree minutes, seconds, and convert it to degrees. And so there's keys to do that, and we teach them that. Uh, there's a few other things we teach them later on in the upper tiers. We teach them the e to the x key and the logarithm key. We teach them the 10 to the x and the log to the base 10 key. We don't do that right away. You don't. I don't believe you should teach this in the first pass through math. We don't do this until we get into tiers 3 and tiers 4 for people that are going to go on in math. Now, there's a lot of keys on this calculator that, in my opinion, you'll never use. For example, there's a lot of statistics keys, and I would never do statistics on a calculator. So I would never teach them how to do it on the calculator. We're going to do statistics. We would use something like Excel. There are some keys here for permutation and combinations that we do up in uh, Tier 4, getting people ready in pre-calculus if they're going to go on in math. And there's a few other keys we use. And, of course, in the upper tiers, we want to teach them about the uh, difference between floating point and scientific notation and engineering notation. So this would be a floating point number here, for example. If you hit the second key and hit SCI, there you get the scientific notation using uh, powers of 10. If you use engineering notation, of course, it's powers of 10, but it has to be multiples of 3 and the exponent. And we teach them the difference between that so that they understand you can express these numbers in various ways. And this is particularly valuable if you're going to be dealing with really large numbers or really small numbers, because otherwise you couldn't express them. And, but we don't do that until we get into the upper tiers. Uh, don't start beginners out on that. It's not necessary. Now, there's some keys on here I probably would uh, probably never teach. The height key, for example, stands for hyperbolic trig functions. And that's something that uh, is rarely used. Uh, it's used in special cases in engineering, but I don't generally teach it. So these are the things that I would teach them. You can download this syllabus from our website to see what we do. You can do it. This was not a training video. I want to emphasize that. I, this was a demo video. This is to show you as a parent or a teacher the kind of things that we will be teaching your student. But keep in mind, there were 16 lessons that we would get with lots and lots of exercises and quizzes for feedback before the students would do that. It takes most students about a week, one to two weeks to go through these lessons. And then they've developed a lot of confidence in themselves. They've learned how to use this power tool. And now they're ready to rock and roll and go on. And then we go, of course, go into pre-algebra and then algebra and then geometry and so on. And you can learn all about that on other videos. So this is Dr. Dell. Uh, what we want is for your student to get the best possible math training that meets their needs and their aspirations in life. And we know that that's possible today. And we intend to help you do that in every way that we can. Now, as a matter of fact, if you go to my website, craighain.com, 
then you're going to be able to learn all about what I believe about teaching math and how we would teach your student if we were doing it and the programs we have to do it and how we recommend that you do it. There's a lot of free videos there that will help you. There's actually three books you can download for free. There's a teacher's guide you can download for free. There's uh, We teach you the spike pedagogy, the way we believe that math is most effectively taught. In fact, we know that's the way it's most effectively taught. And you can learn about that. So all sorts of things you can learn there. You can contact me, my email address, just my name, craig at hain.com. Or you can telephone me. I'm always happy to talk to uh, both parents and students about mathematics. So give me a call if you've got a question. Uh, email is probably the, the, the best way to start, though, uh, to reach me. But lots of information there because our goal is to teach your student how to win with math. That's sort of our motto. How can you win with math? Quick and easy. And, of course, it's guaranteed that you can do it. Our main website is triadmathinc.com. A ton of information there as well. And we also have, as you probably know, homeschoolmathematics.com. We have a lot of different websites uh, depending on the audience. But it's all basically the same message. Uh, math is so valuable today in so many fields. It will open up vistas for you, job opportunities, career opportunities. Uh, you just need to approach it in a tiered level and learn math that you need to learn and, and learn it at a proper pace. It needs to be self-paced with lots of feedback, and then it will be successful. And so you have uh, no reason today that you and your student can't be totally successful in learning math. So, finally, this again is Craig Hain or Dr. Dell and my students, and I wish you the best in your life. I wish you great success with both you and your students in teaching math.